That was a brutal crash. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Immediately gets blue screen. All right, let me let me kick this up again. I needed to restart my computer anyway. I don't care. Chaos. There we go, I think. Yeah, okay. Wow. Boy, oh boy. Very chaotic. Just gonna do some things here. I truly wish we could. Uh, oh, we can. Nice. I'm just copying tags. Did this. Just gonna do that. Save it. I'm just pick, tweaking it a little bit so people know what's going on since it crashed big time. Something like that, maybe. Why not? Just adding a tweet with the link again, just in case someone wants to pop in. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's try this. Let's try this one more time. Some break. If it breaks twice, then there's an issue with, with the compilation. I don't think so. The computer was acting a little weird before, so you know, probably the reason, but never know, never know. I tweak volumes a little bit on the music and, and audio, so I'm I'm hoping that it's gonna be better. But we will see. We will see. In the meantime, I could might as well uh, mention it again. If you haven't already, we have a game that we're making. It's the game I'm working on right now. It's called Far North. It's a procedural open world survival game with dynamically changing seasons, meaning as time progresses, the seasons change, and as the seasons change, so does the challenges. Winter is nice, warm, you have a lot of wildlife. You know, everything is lush. Hit winter, winter is cold, it's dark. Um, less wildlife. You have to survive, you have to battle the elements, all those kind of things. And this is kind of our hook for the game. This is what sets our game apart from others. We don't really see a lot of survival games that actually play with seasons. We have usually one or the other. We have green hell put in the Amazonas or tropics or whatever. Then you have long dark which is an amazing game but it's set in the winter only and and we set out to kind of join these uh kind of games together uh in far north um because we find that it's interesting and very very fun to play with these challenges 
since then I've been told um, that God, what's it called? Um, um, uh, survive, survive together. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, we were no, we were here together. No, no, that's another. Don't starve together, or don't starve the entire genre in general. Do similar things. Um, but yeah, we're looking to do that in a procedural landscape in 3D. That's our hook, and we think we can do a lot of things. It's an overly ambitious game. We've worked on for two and a half years at this point. Uh, it's a bit over ambitious for two people to work on. We're looking to get a third. Uh, we're looking to get a. We're two developers, and we're looking to get a 3D artist that could help assist with developing the assets for it. Right now, we're we're doing make do where we can, where we purchase some assets, we modify them, we retexture things. But really, what we're do gonna look for is a way to get a 3D artist on board eventually to really help us take this game to the next level. We see a lot of lot of potential. And on that note, I would love if you could wishlist this game um, because it's help it's it helps us get exposure basically. Once we launch, we're gonna hit the we're probably gonna hit the main page on Steam, which is fantastic. But the more we get, the more the more wishlist we get, the more like guaranteed we get to have that kind of launch. And also the more wish lists we have, the more people are expected to probably uh, convert and purchase the game, which is of course going to help us keep the lights on and, and switch over to full time eventually, which is of course great. But we'll see one step at a time. I think compilation worked. Looks good. <sighs> Thank you. Let's see if Bolt is going to be a bit happier with us now. I'm hoping we're going to be able to do it now. Looks like we're getting things. I, I noticed that our IDE folder for some reason broke when I, when I push some stuff. It's very strange. The fact that this is removing it makes me think that maybe it fixed itself when I restarted everything. But we'll, we'll see eventually. A lot of recompilation stuff. We also have a Discord community, if you didn't know. Um, behavior is missing. Yeah, we haven't... I don't know why we lost some, some scripts here. I guess I cleaned it up before. That might be it. Might be why. All right, um, okay, let's see if building works. See if building this menu is a little scuffed as well, honestly. Uh, no, still broken. Um, not seeing any issues. But we're not getting it. Let me check if. If it actually got compiled. I have a cat that just joined. Hello, Lily. Cat tag. Hey. Hey. All right. She always sits behind my, my screens. That's her favorite spot pretty much. Because she there's some like there's some wires and she just gets to kind of like hit them a little bit and it's like eh. This is perfect. <sighs> okay. 
uh, farming, maybe for some reason it didn't compile. Looks, looks happy enough. Is it referencing the right things? Palette color and the palette color references. There you go. Nothing. That's why. See, there's always these tiny things. Fortunately, this is a very easy thing to do. Prefabs, pieces. Nope, not pieces. It is, but it isn't. Forming palette color. Boom. Let's see if it's happier now. Ah, improvement. Only issue is now it's hitting and going back and forth on itself. Usually that means... Usually that means that something is hitting itself, which it seems to be doing. Hello. Hello, Lily. Yes, yes, yes. Nick. Hello. Hello. All right, so probably because we have some kind of colliders around here. Probably the growth slots. Oh, interesting enough. Doesn't seem to be. Is there a collider on these? I see. I see. Hold on, you're going to need to chill right there all right so it's probably this now the question is can i enable you or will you talk to it now you do work there's a little thing i need to disable interactive stuff while in building but at least it kind of works then it Okay, I can just open up this webinar. So this is just because the original model came with a collider. We don't need that. It's just a huge waste of time. Better. Let's see if it actually works. Arrival. Hey, it does. It almost works with the like hide thing as well. We have this thing where we hide generated vegetation. It's this one. If I go here, I'm just gonna check it out. It's not working perfectly. I wonder if I need to. All right, put it at zero. Zero, just interesting. What happens if I put it at four, four? One, one. Ten, ten. Nothing, nothing, okay. I need to do a bit up. Like zero, 26. Um, four, three, maybe four, four, five. I know what it is. This is probably using a very. It looks sharp enough. Render constant, yes. 
fine. Yeah, we don't put no duplicative. Because then we can put everything to zero. Hmm, interesting. We don't carry ice. Fake has fading. Might not need that. I don't, I don't see a reason for that. Does this matter? Did. Right. UVs can be zero. That won't matter. Okay, fine. I guess it's just because of how it works. So elements. Extra alpha. Like a pretty good thing would be to do the size fade. Honestly. I think at least. It's worth checking out. Yeah, I wonder if an issue with this is that we switched. We might need to recompile things. So for now, let me see if I can get back to it and get away with it. Good. Okay. Ah. I mean, it's not amazing. It's not a big deal either, though. So. Yes, for now, kind of works. Yeah, I don't want that, honestly. Yeah, so it, it's better to just keep it as it is. too dark yeah we we do want to solve this obviously yes hello love me give me attention do you have an opinion on this fading might be the maybe I'm not sure I guess for now it doesn't matter fascinating though Let's just plant a new one and see what happens. I hate that we have to double click the menu. That's a buggy. It's definitely not being very good at this. Like, look at that. Come on. Hold on. Sorry. Let's get my K. 
cat decided to switch things up for us. But yeah, I'm... <clears throat> Obviously things are being a little weird. Well, I'm not going to bother with that right now. Let's see if it actually works. Oh, Jesus. Come on, you're taking up my entire desk. Oh. Alright. Time. Maybe? Time? No. Wait. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Item add. Let's see. Let's see on the email list. Item add. Why Agaric C five? Right. Right. Uh, we see it working. Ignore the blue thing that popped up. That's just because the shaders aren't preloaded. I wonder how long it takes to grow this. Is everything running here? Let me see. Fortunately, we can check this. Instances. We're growing a few plants. Nice. If I go to the slot. Plant instance. There's something. I don't know why it's a seaweed. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. What's up, Dennis? Morning. You need a haircut? Yeah, I definitely do. Getting close to that 24-7 programmer hair. Yes. I would argue I have better hair than that. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do. It's been on my list. Mm. So it's growing. It's growing for sure. How fast? I don't know. I'm gonna check on that actually. Um, let me see here. There, it's in. Um, ooh, ee, 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 ooh. There's no farming. I'm so happy I was consistent in in the naming of things here. Vegetation, maybe? Nope. That's not it. Build? Nope. Crafting? Nope. Cooking? No. Oh, yeah! No! I'm dumb. Never mind. I forgot. I, I changed things up. There's nothing to add. There's nothing to add. How's it going, Dennis, by the way? How's cool? All right, wait, wait a minute. I know what it is. Why <sighs> Agaric, raw, plant instance, yes. So it's it's my items, that's it. It's it's gonna be my items for sure. Window, ba ba ba, where are we? We have things everywhere. Tools, item manager, which is slightly broken, but don't worry about it. Lyagaric. We need sorting here. Ah, tomato seed, flyagaric seed. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So the seed item data is fly agaric. Its age is, it takes one day. All right, maturity in three hours in game. I mean, that's, that should be reached. So I'm, I'm thinking something is a little broken actually. 
Start time ticks. Yeah, see, lifetime progress is nothing. Let me see, plant instance. If owner, yeah, let me see this. Might be, might be, problem. I, I, yes, you're in the center of attention, don't worry. This perfect. Just being in my way completely completely. Alright, so we're obviously in debug. Things are not happening. Let me place another plant. Alright, we hit it like once. I mean I can't do shit when you're here. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna place you on the desk. Don't worry about it, alright? Yeah, I'm sorry. Just have to deal with it. Uh, okay, that obviously works. Step ones. I said step ones. Start time. Current time. Start time is. Yeah, because it's all the same. That's the same tick. Oh, if it's a seedling and a plant module, yeah, then we instantiate it, which is accurate. And then we just get the maturity scale, which is 0 0.3. And then we apply the local scale with the maturity scale. That's fine. I don't see a problem. Except that it never again updates. Time system, schedule with fixed delay. Is this the why? Is the time system fucked? Oh, oops. It's making me think the time system is screwed. Schedule with fixed delay. Yes. Invoke due events. Yes. Event queue, yeah, there's eight things. At least there's things queued. Repeatable event. What are we doing? Yeah, we have the growth stuff. Right? So time, event, year, zero, current year, zero. Day 20, current day 20, ticks, 6 to 1, 5, 7. Five, seven. I'm just gonna do it like this. Are you 5, 7, 1? 5, 7, 1. That's interesting. Five seven one. Hold your phone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time. Time is moving. Why? Why? What? Kind of fun watching the streams now that you at least somewhat of what's going on. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, that's definitely fun.
Oh, I hate the wisps. The wisps need to go away. Right, it's lagging because this is like the slowest controller on the planet. I mean, we're doing ticks. I'm not sure why it's not updating. Like, let me add nine hours. I'm not going to get stuck on this for too long, but I plant it and then it just kind of says thanks, bye, forever. I find that very strange. It should be, first of all, there's way too many events here. Sure. No, actually, maybe not. It's one growing plant. Some register thing. Register. 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 So this is the health that's scheduled, probably. Not a big deal. Delay 30. What I find interesting is that it's not like these ticks 571, right? They kind of stay there. They shouldn't be staying there. Which is making me a little worried and skeptical that something is messed up. Could be the perennial profile. Like if I if I do now it should not say five seven one, but it does. Which is what worries me. And that's making me think it's broken. Just not sure why. But at least this is a separate issue from placement. Placement works well. Like placement is great. We can do nice things pretty conveniently. I mean, just become immortal. We can easily build things. I do really like the new build system. It's not perfect. I need to like systemize how we place things together, but it's definitely way better. I need a little better tweaking of this, but it's not bad. Nice platform. Why is this large? Yes. Oh, 
astrologer the aspect why not looks a little bit how you build in Belheim? yeah it, it's it's kind of building it it's using the same principles i would say except for we don't need we don't have structural integrity don't make me press the button cat damn it Yeah, it is absolutely similar. Similar. Uh, similar. Okay, enough. Stop attacking my hands. Yeah, because I realized it's like I like the way Valheim, like building in Valheim is like works. Oh, this didn't line up well. Oh well. Make a wide, just make it one huge window almost. But yeah, building feels much more natural now, which is good. Because it was a little janky before. I'm not sure if I can do two. If I place another one. No, that's not going to work. It's not based on what I did. Let me do this instead. Place another platform. Could be a little, could be neat. Modern problems require modern solutions. I need side pieces though. Yeah, exactly, you know, for sure. We're doing things like the nice thing is I think it's really gonna play nicely together with the seasonal elements that we have and the weather and everything like you can see we have like shelter based on if there's something above your head you can see it like here yeah sheltered from elements I didn't even know we had this <laughs> I didn't even know we, we had like this information thing that's kind of kind of cool Yeah, we need way more pieces and stuff. It's unfortunate, like we have a great build system already, which is super fun. But it's a little unfortunate that we don't have um, storage box, maybe. I never learn which way is like, is this the correct way, maybe? But yeah. We just need to get a 3D artist because we're missing one and we like because we have such a great build system and we're getting to a place where we want to really put in content. But since we're missing a 3D artist, everything is insanely slow and inconvenient, which is really too bad, but it is kind of what it is. Night time is approaching, I can see. But we'll see. Maybe, hopefully, we can get an artist in uh, eventually. <laughs> You'll start doing 3D art like mid-January. <laughs> Work fast, man. Get good very quickly. I'm not lying, you might be like, if, if you progress quickly, maybe we can work something out. If, I mean, if you think that's fun, of course, like it's not worth doing anything, it's not fun. Did Mark fix this? He did not. So we, we kind of broke our storage. There, hide it, perfect.
but we are doing like the art style we're going for is very simplistic like it's it's not we don't want exactly this art style because this looks ugly but more like this art style it's better you know and like the, like the trees and things like that what you've done in 3D art, you enjoyed it? That's good. That's very good. Yeah, there's plenty of work for you if you if you if you become good enough. The star fall is a bit too intense. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you if you're like that might be an a valid thing if you would be interested. Given you have enough experience, we didn't fix the Mark didn't fix the miniature items, I think. So Mark did this w funny fix that broke. Hold on, let me see if I can get like a. I get oh okay yeah I broke the menu so I guess not. Mark did this funny bug where he fixed a thing and then just um. Th then he he scaled down the prefabs all the weapons and everything, items, to fit nicely in your hand. But he forgot to scale them up in the real world. So now we're spawning like miniature things everywhere, which is super cute. You like the art style, very stylized? Thanks, yeah, that's exactly what we're going for. Very stylized, simplistic. Because we feel like that's that's a good style that's kind of timeless. And you can really produce a lot of content quite quickly. That's hilarious, yeah. Unfortunately, I broke the menu, but you like you should see the the logs that they produce. It's so cute. Hold on, let me just chop down this tree. I'm gonna be quick. Come on. Ah. Ah. No, stop. Need to fix the rotation of things. All right. Now you're going to see it. Hold on. Oh, shit. No, stop. Yeah. You see, that's the log. <laughs> cute. Very cute. But yeah, we're we're really in an interesting phase. Like we did so much work for so long with performance and everything. We have it running as it should. Like we're it's not amazing performance, but it's good enough, I would argue. Uh like we're running 35 FPS now in the editor full full screen while streaming having the effect right now that's kind of the heaviest weather effect, which is the starfall, which is a lot of particles and shit. <clears throat> so like given all that, it's actually pretty good performance. We get a solid 60 like FPS right now, which is definitely good enough. Not always perfect, but it's, it's good enough. Yeah. Adorable tiny logs. Yes. Yeah. So that's kind of where we are right now. I'm gonna finish up the stream right now. It just kind of... I find myself playing the game more and more. Just getting stuck playing it. Just experiencing everything. Which in my mind is a very good... Um, it, it's a very good thing. That means we're onto something, you know? good uh, I'll just cash some snow let, let it build up a little bit I need to fix the shimmering of the particles we have too much shimmer Snow level 
levels rising. Something like that. Yep. Weather dot set. The menu is getting annoying. <laughs> Where's the storage UI? Yeah. Yes. Go. Cool. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah. I do enjoy. Uh, we need to fix snow or or like water to turn into ice. I have a I have a plan for it. Yeah. Also, we need to fix so that I broke it so we don't make like the snow is a little messed up. But yeah, just flying around here is, is super cool. Ooh. Hold your phone. There we go. Oh, there's a fox over there. You know, it, you know, as soon as you remove the UI, it becomes very cinematic very quickly. Are there are two foxes. Oh, there's a rabbit. But since we don't, we don't make the, we don't generate the footprints right now. You can't actually see them because the rabbits are too tiny. Oh no, ran away from me. Because I'm because I'm chasing it, it starts running. Uh yes. Don't worry about it. Works as intended, okay? You saw nothing. Yeah, we wanna get I'm gonna get rid of these dark shades, which is the tessellation. It's gonna look even better. Oh, we found some big water. Cool. Like the Skyrim Fox. It's a feature, not a bug. Exactly. Ah, uh, hello, tiny rabbit. Invisible. It's lagging a little bit because we're generating AI as well right now. With the tiles and we don't like, we don't have anything optimized. We also need to add fall damage. Oop. Yeah. Like running around, walking around like this, it really sells the experience, but we need to work with the terrain so much more. Or we, we're gonna do this later. Gonna be fun, fun to try this in a 1080. That's actually gonna be super interesting. I have no clue how performance is gonna be. I don't know if yeah I I we you're in the Discord so you know we we put things that we're gonna put in like um, we're gonna release it on itch and people can play. <clears throat> it's gonna come out in December probably. We're just doing the things we're doing now, like tweaking some small bugs, improving stuff like that. Uh, Weather dot set foggy is that or is it fog? No. Is it heavy fog? Is that it? No. Weatherless. Dense fog. So close. We need to fix the shimmering, like the blue shimmer as well, a little bit. Lagging a little bit right now, but it looks good. Going to cure the hell out of it. Yeah, it's going to be a broken mess as we're trying to prepare people to just... No, where's my cursor? There. But we realize kind of that we're two people doing this in a silo. It's not worth it. 
it's better to just get it out there early to start like because this kind of game builds some community so we'd rather just get it out there and people can start playing it even though it's super broken and then we can fix things and improve and get input and just do it yeah it's just more fun it also removes the pressure from us which is very appreciated because otherwise we're going to be like oh no it's not perfect it's not polished enough blah 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 but if we just get it out there and everyone knows like it's a broken mess then we can work from from there free qa definitely anyways i've rambled enough i should have quit a long time ago i'm gonna look into the time system but it's at least it's a separate bug meaning that we can kind of commit this and I can say made made um uh, made um palette color into a building piece or build piece because at the end that's kind of what we did and then the fact that it's a little broken that's a separate issue that i can fix tomorrow maybe all right i'm gonna get going i need to eat some late breakfast and then i have a lot of shit to do all right take it easy thanks for hanging out <clears throat> good seeing you dennis I will be back tomorrow and yeah, I'm going to look into, we'll see when I start producing some videos. Um, hopefully pretty soon, maybe we'll see. We also do plan on, on like when we stream and we have some small, like small clips that kind of is fun or, or like educational. We're going to try to turn that into a, a short video from the live stream, but we'll see. <clears throat> so yeah exciting things all right take it easy have a good one don't forget to subscribe do all that stuff bell icons whatever youtube things that we do ah <sighs> all right